How you doing? Pretty good, you? Good, good. How are you? I'm Donovan. Alex. That's my cousin, Josh. What's up, man? I love this green. So how was the trip? Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. Um, I forgot to use an hour behind time, so we left way early this morning. Yeah, no yeah. Yeah, I'm putting the uh, the plugs back in this one. It's been so busy the past couple of days. I'll fill you in. Yours is what mine needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go turbo? Yeah, the, the Hell Horse kit. Yeah. So here we go. We're gonna change the looks of mine. We're gonna be actually swapping our front splitter back to stock. We got the MMD front splitter. Run a little bit fast. does create downforce so that's going to be good if you're something you're interested in yep. and you were talking about doing a dovetail spoiler from rtr on the uh pp stock spoiler back there which i think will look absolute fire but yeah we do have my car back together we do need to do valve springs we've got some other goodies on the way we've got tires sitting over there uh the wheels you can't see they're not here they're actually in texas we're going to be heading to texas very very soon to uh accomplish a couple of mods to include possibly a fuel system so just stay tuned to the channel but here's a true cold start <laughs> it's so cold it doesn't just sputter oh turn off you know what i did what i didn't plug the fuel back in <laughs> That's sick there, isn't how it? the hell did it start i don't even know how it started no, we uh we did a compression test and it, it passed with flying colors, guys. But I completely yeah. forgot. I just put the pugs back in. Uh, what's up? <laughs> she said it was a piece of shit. All right. Oopsie. It's really early in the morning. Okay, we got fuel. Let's try this again. Oops. Let me prime it. Like you're supposed to do. All right, take two. Let's try this again. <laughs> I can't believe it even started. Sounded good. Because it was, uh, yes. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there we go. Get a little turbo. Oh, yeah. Daddy long tube headers, yep. factory resonator, yep. MBRP. I smell that ethanol. It smells good. Woo. Oh yeah, chop, chop, chop. So we just basically are doing this for aerodynamics, guys. We are gonna go fast in this car. That is the goal. Uh, we want to chase low, low, yeah, that sounds good low nines and that uh hopefully will be confirmed here soon when we go back to the the track on in the quarter mile so we got valve springs coming some other goodies just stay tuned to the channel so all right let's get this thing out of the way it'd be a simple video I'll call it like you know yeah going back to stock yep or something yeah i mean hey ah. So PP1 versus the MMD, and you can see the differences. I've done this before, uh, compared these, but there is a significant difference. It has the same generic shape of the, like the PP2. Yep. So instead of being, Close. yeah, exactly. It so. don't have a double lip. Exactly. So it's not just all one piece. And again, this is just for aerodynamics, you know, getting rid of some of the front downforce because we want to go fast in my car. You want to climb under here and look at these headers, though. You got the speed daddy you were talking about. Paid what for them? 160 shipped. 160 yep. shipped. Free shipping. Wow. So <laughs> <laughs> let me get up under here because I'm curious. I've never seen them in person. I've heard, heard people talk about them, you know, as a budget header. Oh, there's no room under here. That looks like a header. And uh, there's the steering linkage there, so no issues with fitment. You said you didn't have to bang on these at all? No, no, no hitting at all. So hey, here we are, close to the starter, motor mounts, no banging, good fitment. Three inch? 
One seven eighth header. Yeah, they look fine. No issues at all. Easy install. And you're gonna take this thing to the dyno soon, and yeah, yeah right, hopefully have five hundred if I can. I can push it. Yeah, E eighty five. Do you have an intake on it right now? No, just a drop in filter. Honestly, yep, I would bad. probably just keep yeah. it. Yeah, yep. intakes are cool. It might make a little bit of a difference, yeah. but E eighty five is the way to go. E eighty five is the answer exactly. So, all right, let's get to it. <laughs> gonna back it out hit that curve come back so the suspension will settle since it was in the air to get a, a better look at how it looks Good. I like it. Yeah. She looks good now. Looks Needs good. some lowering springs, 100%. Yeah. Definitely got to lower it then. Yeah, that ghost cam tune that you've got sounds... I like it. Jealous. I won't mind to sound like that. <laughs> I wonder how it does with the auto cars since yours is a stick shift though. With the uh you know how it drives, especially if you wanted yeah. to like daily something like that. I don't yeah. know. But sound good. Yeah. So you happy with it? Oh yeah, I love it, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. That's good. You're interested in this. Um, you can hit up, I think American Muscle sells these, it's the MMD Splitter, MMD, and they're like 250 bucks or something like that. So, looks good, and uh, you gotta get mine back on. So, in a sense, we're kind of going back to stock, I guess, but it looks good, man. So, big plans. I'll link all of his social media and everything here, so you can go follow him, and uh, yeah, Thanks for making the trip out yeah, here. Man. I really appreciate, really appreciate it, man. appreciate All right, guys, we couldn't end the video like that. All that footage just filmed a few days ago, but, you know, YouTube likes 10-minute videos, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stretch this for another minute and a half or so. But basically, just to let you know that there is a lot of things coming. What's going on, basically, is that we've been on the hunt. we got multiple people involved. We were hunting down valve spring for this car, so to get rid of the valve float issue. We don't want to race the car and hurt the engine, so we want to do valve springs which is gonna be interesting because we're gonna try to do it. I know, kill me in the comments, but it is possible according to the Ford manual, I guess you can change valve springs with certain specialty tools with the heads and cams still in place on the car. Time will tell if this is gonna be possible. I don't know, but we're gonna definitely try. If we run into any hiccups, if it just seems like it's more, if it's more trouble than it's worth, then I guess we will start ripping things apart. Anyway, I'm loving it. I got this new phone and it's, it's got a wider camera. It's pretty cool. I love it. Um, but anyway, back on track. So valve springs are on the way. They will be here the middle of this coming week. So yes. And finally, <laughs> something else. I don't wanna give away, no, you know what? I was gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you we have something crazy expensive very expensive uh sitting in my house right now i don't want to show you i'm kind of thinking about it but i think i'm gonna hold off you're just gonna have to i know it's gonna be tough to hang in there but uh just hang in there hang in there all will be revealed in the next week or so we do have new tires we got new wheels Drive shaft's gonna go in the car here in the next couple of days. And a bunch of other stuff is in route. A lot of cool things to come. But yeah, the plan is to go very, very fast in this car. Um, I think that uh, if we do like nine fives, that's just not gonna be good enough for me. It's not gonna be good enough for the channel. We gotta go faster than that. It's kind of a heavy build. It's what it's really turning into is very, very race car stuff. Yeah, I appreciate all of the support. A lot of you guys have been reaching out. A lot of you veteran drag racers out there, you gotta remember, I'm very new to this. So anything you guys tell me in the comments, 
I appreciate all the phone calls, all the emails, getting a hold of me on Instagram, any which way that you choose to do so. I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. So yeah, I know this is kind of a cut and dry video, but it is what it is. <laughs> So we did go back to the stock OEM splitter here. So again, this was just aerodynamics. Anyway, that's the update on the car. Keep your eyes out for the next week or so of content. Big things coming. You see we got tires right down here at the bottom of the screen. And uh, the wheels are in Texas. So we got to figure out how to get those here or go get them. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>